Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily here and today's video is super duper exciting because I got a huge package. Oh, hello kitty. Um, I got a huge package and about a month ago, I placed an order on YesStyle for just a ton of Korean and Japanese makeup and beauty and skincare products because I was running low a lot of, on a lot of things that I usually buy. And generally, like once a year or twice a year, I will place like a really big order for just things that I use um, makeup and skincare wise, and then I just kind of stock it up. So it finally came after like almost a month, I want to say, and I don't remember some of the stuff I ordered. It's a lot of like stuff that I normally use, but also a lot of new things. So yeah, let's go ahead and open them. So everything in this box, um, came in these like super bubble wrapped packages uh i don't really know how they separated it it's just this one has more like hair stuff and this one has more like face stuff but yeah so everything i ordered they just came in this giant bubble wrapped package like Oh my god, my cat is going insane. So yeah, I'll go ahead with this package first since a lot of, it seems like it has less stuff. Things are just bigger. All right, so the first two things in here are these two bottles of hair conditioner. And I have been using these um, hair masks for, I wanna say like a decade or more. I have never found anything that works as well as these. Um, this one is the Shiseido Fino Hair Repair Mask. It's the Premium Touch one. This is the one that I first started using and it's just like a really, really moisturizing hair mask. You leave this hair mask on for like five minutes in the shower and then you kind of just like scrub your body, do whatever you have to do. And then once you rinse it off, your hair is just so soft. I use this like maybe like two to three times a week. And also it looks like this, it's so thick. Oh, and it smells so good. I love this stuff. Um, this gold one right here, I think it's like a more premium version. It's called the Premium EX Repair Mask. I've only used this bottle once before. Um, and I do think it does work a little bit better. Um, and it feels like a little bit more silky. So I got both again just to like compare whether this one's also just worth buying from now on. That looks the same. Smells really good as well, and definitely if you guys are looking for good hair masks, I highly, highly recommend these two. Alright, the next thing that came is these are these like powder puffs. They're called powder puffs, but I usually just probably would use them for foundation. They're um just really basic like sponges in different shapes. Just like really useful <clears throat> depending on what kind of like a look you're trying to create with your foundation. And I think this whole thing was only like $5, so I just generally buy it like a couple times a year to keep when I do use sponges. All right, the next few things are skincare, and a lot of you might have heard of these because they're really, really popular. I haven't tried them though, so we'll see. The first thing is this CauseRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Um, I've heard about this so many times in my life, but I've just never really tried it. It has snail secretion filtrate as its first ingredient. It's supposed to be pretty moisturizing and you're supposed to use it after cleansing and toning as kind of like um, an essence serum type of thing. I have heard good things about this, that it like calms and hydrates your skin. It feels good, it's gentle, doesn't cause breakouts. And this is just what it looks like. The texture seems like pretty gooey. Well, it's pretty gooey. Doesn't have much of a smell. Kind of just rub it in. It's like not too thick, but it does have a slight texture. So it's more moisturizing or feels a bit thicker than just water. Here like toners and stuff like that. All right, and then the next thing I got is this Neogen Dermology 
Spa's Peeling Wine for visibly clearer, smoothing, smoother, and tighter skin. I actually don't usually use any type of pad type of skincare things, um, but this one, I... Milk. Lately, ever since I've moved here to Dallas, to Texas, um, I found that my skin from time to time it actually starts getting dry to the point it's like peeling a little bit and so I just figured if I like exfoliate it a little better maybe try something like this that won't happen it doesn't happen that often but randomly it does like maybe if I don't moisturize carefully or if I don't exfoliate carefully I'm not sure so I'm gonna try to use this like a couple times a week and just see if it helps with that problem it's like purple and it comes in gauze pads wait it actually kind of smells like grape wine or something or like grapes Wine? Not really sure. I'll take the one from the side. Just kind of let you guys know what it is. It looks like this. There's like little, it's like a little exfoliating pad, but not really. There's just dots on it. And, oh, it's like, there's a lot of uh, liquid inside one of these pads. You can't even really feel it um, exfoliating, I think. It's very, very gentle, so I'm very happy about that because I don't want to use anything super tough on my skin. And yeah, we'll see how it works. It does smell good. It doesn't have like th that like super strong wine smell. It's like a little bit winey, but um, mostly just like kind of like grapes, grape candy. Okay, the next thing I got is also something new. I don't know much about this product, but I really, really love this brand. It's called The Beauty of Joseon. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the first product I bought from them was their sunscreen, and that sunscreen is absolutely amazing. Hands down the best sunscreen I've ever used. So I became more interested in this brand, and I was looking for a face mask, so I just decided to try this. It says, after cleansing, apply onto a dry face. You avoid the eye and mouth areas. You leave on and then you rinse it off with water. Comes in a little bottle like this and it also comes with a spatula. Honestly, with these types of products, I don't usually use a spatula. I just use my hands. Uh, I don't know if it's not clean, but I always wash my hands anyway beforehand. So I figure it's fine. Yeah, it looks like this. I don't think it has much of a smell, but I'm not sure if it's because I still just smell a lot of the grape from the previous peeling pads. Yeah, hopefully this will help me cleanse my skin um, and be a fun mask to use. It's a red bean refreshing pore mask. So hopefully it tightens your pores and kind of just like clears them out. All right, now moving on to the next package, which has a lot more stuff in it. I'm more excited about this package. This is like where all the makeup products I decided to get were. Probably just first finish up with the rest of the skincare products and then show you the new makeup products I got. So I was talking about the beauty of Joseon before, the clay mask I just got or the red bean pore mask. And this is the sunscreen that I got that I said I loved. I have two bottles that are both like getting to be finished. So I bought a replacement because guys, sunscreen is super important. Always wear sunscreen, especially if you're about to go outside that day. Um, even if you're just outside for like 10, 15 minutes, it's pretty important. And this is what it looks like. It just comes in a small tube like this. It's SPF 50 PA++++ with rice and probiotics. I really, really love this product, mostly because it's really lightweight and it's not greasy at all. Doesn't really have a smell. And it feels like it just absorbs into your skin super seamlessly and flawlessly. And a lot of sunscreens cause me to break out, and this is probably one of the few sunscreens that's never caused any type of problems like that. So I think this is just the best sunscreen ever and highly recommend it. So I bought another one just in case my two run out and I can't find this anywhere in the US. Okay, this is another product that I have probably bought a few bottles of in the past and then I just got another one because mine again is running out and it's called the Astura Atto Barrier Cream. I think this is like really popular in Korea as just a moisturizing cream that's simple, gentle, and works really well. And it kind of just looks like this. It's 
it's just a really simple white cream that's highly moisturizing sinks into your skin really well doesn't have much of a smell which is what i really do like in products i don't like anything with a really strong smell unless it's like a really good smell but even then fragrance is probably not the best it just absorbs super easily and moisturizes really well without being greasy okay i also caught another beauty of Josen product because i was so curious about everything they had and when I looked at their ingredients list and all these products, they were also just full of really good, like healthy, simple ingredients. Looks like this way. It actually kind of looks like ginseng water, doesn't it? I wonder if it smells like ginseng too. I don't think it smells like anything. It just feels like a very watery toner. I've kind of been using the same toner for a really long time, so I'm down to try something new and just see how it goes and this is the one I purchased okay and here is another beauty of Joseph product I know I kind of went crazy but the sunscreen was so good I had to try out the rest of their products um and this one is the uh, revive eye serum ginseng and retinol ice eye cream I almost said ice cream so um retinol products definitely do help with anti-aging and this has 10% ginseng root extract, 2% retinol liposome. And I don't actually use any um, eye products right now, eye cream products. I kind of just use my lotion for my whole face. And I don't know if like eye cream is really necessary or not. Some people say it is, some people say it's like just marketing. But I'm down to try it, see if it does anything for my under eye area, if it helps it. Um, you know get smoother if it helps it plump up a little bit if it helps it you know look more awake or anything i don't really know we'll see all right a few more uh skincare products i got this pokemon softy mo speedy cleansing oil it has a little jiggly puff on it i've used this cleansing oil a lot in the past especially when i was um a student because this cleansing oil is just pretty cheap and really really good I've always just used cleansing oils or cleansing balms I don't use cleansing liquids or like alcohol wipes or makeup remover wipes or anything like that I just like oils and balms so I just got one since it's been a while since I've used the oil I've just been using a lot of balms lately yeah here it is it just works well I like it a lot okay last couple of skincare products um, I got this one it's a Japanese product. I've used it a couple times before. It's like a vitamin C brightening essence. It's super effective. It comes in this tube that doesn't really let light in or oxygen in at all so that the vitamin C actually does work when it comes out. So it doesn't like, you know, the UV light or air getting inside will make it ineffective. Um, and the packaging is really useful it's really good i think if you just have like some spots or anything like that on your face from acne scarring or whatever putting this on helps a lot you can also just put it all over your face but i've always liked this all right and the last skincare product i have is again from beauty of Josen. um i wanted to try some of their face masks and this is the centella asia tica calming mask don't really know but i actually don't use masks too often these days i kind of just do my skincare i go to bed i'm like super fast with my skincare i kind of just wanted to like enjoy life more and slow things down and just like lay there with a face mask watch a show or something so i just got some masks oh they're kind of cute they look like these they just look so clean and nice man i'm really excited to try these out yeah these are the beauty of Josen face masks all right, and that is it for the skincare portion. Onto the makeup portion. It's been a long time since I've bought a ton of makeup. And the first thing here is the Romand um, Rosebud Garden Eyeshadow Palette. I think I saw this palette online and I was just like, holy crap, the colors are gorgeous. And they are here. The palette is absolutely beautiful. It just has a lot of like pinks and sparkly colors. And I've been thinking of maybe doing like um makeup 
video where because i've been really loving like the ballet court makeup trend going on kind of wanted to do one and i thought this palette would be perfect look at these colors really excited about this palette heard good things about romand eyeshadows okay i kind of went crazy guys on the lip products part i got five things also korean lip products are just like the cutest things ever so i wanted to try a bunch and the first one i caught i guess i'll just show you because this one stands out the most to me is the um it's the Corinco lip balm or something like that and the color 05 isn't it so pretty it's like a piece of art and a lipstick it just makes me happy looking at it don't know how good it is gonna be though it's like this really pretty nudie red color It's a balm, so like even though the color looks kind of scary, it's not really that bad. Yeah, it feels really smooth. Oh my god, it's so smooth. Oh, it smells good. This is probably the one lip product I got just because I like the case. <laughs> you guys ever do that? Just buy something because it's pretty? I'm glad it works well though. The next one, I actually got three of. It's the Zero Matte Lipstick from Romand. I got it in the colors 05 Evening, 03 Silhouette, and 01 Dusty Pink. To be honest, I can't remember why I got so many of these. Oh, I got it. The packaging of all these Korean lipsticks just looks so nice and sleek. This is in the color 05. Looks like this. Just a really m nice matte, like rosy color. I love this color. I think I might have gotten a bunch of these because I actually have like almost no matte lipsticks in my collection. Everything I have is like super glossy. So I wanted to add more matte shades because I find that they tend to stay on longer. So especially when I'm like streaming and I'm talking a lot, I don't have to constantly reapply. So yeah, that's that one. I also got it in the color 05 evening now oh, there's that it's like a deeper more like a brick red i think it might be turning up a little orangey on camera but it's not really and lastly i got the color 03 silhouette oh maybe i should have done these in the order of numbers all good i'm gonna put a, this one on top Wait, is it just me or do these three colors look really similar? Did I just buy three of the same thing? This one's also kind of like a red, except more raspberry toned, I think. But let me just put this on real quick. Yeah, I got three of these. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest, because I think they look like they would have been three very, very different shades online. Um but they all end up looking like kind of similar. So yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll try it out, see how it goes. Hopefully it's not drying on the lips because I know matte lipsticks do have that problem. Yeah. Really hoping these are long lasting as well. Okay, and the last um, lip product I got is the Peri Para Ink Airy Velvet in Selfie Orange Brown. I wanted a color that was a little bit more orangey for the summer because I don't really have anything too orangey. Most of my lipsticks, lip products are more on the warm, like warm pink, warm brown side. Um, so yeah, this is the Peri Para one in orange brown. Oh, it's beautiful. I feel like this orangey color is super, super good for my skin tone. Yeah, I really, really like it. And I've actually have one of these, the Ink Airy Velvets. I don't remember what color I got before, but I remember really, really liking this. It's matte, it's long lasting, but it doesn't dry your lips at all. So really like this. I really like this color. This color is so gorgeous. All right, and that's it for the lip products. And lastly, we just have some eye products and I think they, I don't know if I bought this or they gifted me this, but it's the Secret Tea mask. 
secret key mask. Yeah, we'll try another mask. I guess we'll try it out sometime. Um, okay, so the products I got were an Etude House drawing eyebrow pencil in the color brown, ash brown. I always get ash brown. Um, it's just the color I've always used. I feel like it matches my brows pretty well, no matter what kind of color hair I have. I mean, my hair is usually like brown or a little bit black. My hair is naturally pretty brown, so any type of like ashy brown color usually works. This is the eyebrow pencil I've been buying for years. I probably used up like 20, 30 of these. Um, works super well, really cheap. I use up like one eyebrow pencil a month, so always have to be buying these. So I got, I got one. And then the last two things I got were the Clio Super Proof Mascara. Um, this is also a replacement. I've been using Clio's mascaras and also Etude House's mascaras. Um, oh, and Dolly Wink's mascaras. I think it's Dolly Wink. It's a Japanese brand. They're really pretty, or not pretty, they're really popular um, Japanese mascaras. Those are pretty much the only three mascaras I use because a lot of Asian people just have like really unforgiving eyelashes that go straight down and like don't want to curl up at all and I actually have like pretty long eyelashes but they go like straight down and so I have to curl them a lot and then when I use a lot of like western brand mascaras they just don't stay like my my mascara does not make my lashes stay curled it just comes back down and just sticks straight after like an hour but um I think because like a lot of Asian people have this problem, the mascaras uh, in Asia are stronger and better. So I just got another one of these Clio ones. And I think this one might have been like a new version. Um, that's why I got it, the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara Extreme Volume. And lastly, I got a Clio Twinkle Pop Gl Glittering Eye Stick in 15 Moonlit Me. I've been really loving glitter on my eyes. I've really been loving glitter on my eyes, like the inner corners and uh, just like underneath. I think it just gives you like a pop and it makes you look more awake. So let's see. Oh, it looks really good. Kind of just like, like looks like really nice, like white gold glitters and uh, I think it will look amazing in the inner corners and just underneath your eyes. And yeah, that is everything I got. A lot of skincare products, a lot of makeup products. Really excited to use some of these things. Really excited to experiment with makeup more. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in front of me. Holy crap, look at this. My dog is right there. He's like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are all good. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys next time for more vlogs, hopefully, and other more girly content. Yeah, bye!